are born with natural athletic ability, while others have to work hard at their craft. The truly special, like number 39 on 44's top 44 male athletes, had that talent, but his work ethic put him over the top. Tyler Burgoon, Defiance, Class of 2007, Baseball. First Team All-State in Division II Player of the Year. WBL, District 1, Player of the Year as a Senior. Two times First Team All-District and All-WBL. 11-0 on the mound with 122 strikeouts, limiting opponents to a 141 batting average his senior season. When not pitching, he caught, batting 420 with 28 stolen bases and 44 runs in 2007. 25 and 3 in three varsity seasons with 256 strikeouts and 177 innings. Tyler Bergoon was uh, probably the, you know, you never want to say he was the hardest worker because we have so many and, we, and, and uh, you can't put him in that category, but he was, he's in the category of the top five or ten hardest workers we ever had. But probably off season, as far as doing things on his own, he probably would be in the top one or, you know, top two. Uh, and, and that's what made him special. You know, at 5'9, 140 pounds. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a kid that had to work at it, very athletic, uh, but really had to work to play it to get the level he did. You don't see many 5'9", five, five, 140-pound pitchers or 5'9", 140-pound catchers. And he was a Division One athlete of both. He was recruited to do both, and he went to the University of Michigan and played both his freshman year and then ended up going full-fledged pitcher. Uh, and, uh, you know, he uh, I still believe if he wouldn't have walked away, uh, he'd be in the big leagues right now. After high school, Burgoon played at Michigan and for the Lima Locos before spending four years in the minor leagues. Tyler Burgoon, number 39 in 44's top 44 male athletes. Burgoon's intelligence was also cited as one of his leading attributes. You can join us next Friday as 44's top 44 continues with number 38, a football player from the MAC who's now playing college football as we count down the top high school athletes of the first sports report decade.